heart began to soar and think, God, yes, I can see it's actually becoming real. Wow, yes, cool, that's a fantastic space. And it was sort of... <gasps> but when the students came at the end of September, it just, it was like, it was like a skeleton with all the muscles and the blood vessels there and suddenly there was some red blood flowing around. It just really breathed life into it. We're sitting in the Granary Building, which was a grain store. It was built in 1851, a rugged remnant of the industrial past, the railways. This is where the grain would have been stored. It would be offloaded uh, into uh, canal boats and it would have been shipped off to the bakeries around London and beyond. We believe we're now located where part of the shift of the, the centre of London will start to move in this particular way. We're positioned between the city and the West End. We're in this fantastic transport hub. It actually is not just coming in, but going out. I think that's really important for part of our culture. It's about connecting with the world. You know, a lot of staff didn't want to move. They were very, very much in love with our old buildings and tradition and our heritage that had come out of those buildings. I did say to the one time that, that half of them thought it, we were going to, to hell and the other half thought it was going to be Nirvana and it wouldn't be either. And, and it isn't. It wasn't about the building making a statement. It needed to leave space for the people inside it to make the, the, the statement. What Paul gave to us, I think, he gave us some coherence to what is a very, very big building. There's a coherence about where are the workshops, where are the studios, how do they interlink with each other, how do students access, how do they transfer from their very specific spaces to their very general spaces. We have this wonderful horizontality, which means we can have materials coming in very easily, timber, wood, metal, they can then be either cut up or worked in the workshop and then they percolate up the buildings to all the other disciplines, you know, to jewellery, to... So you can see it's not... It, it facilitates the movement of students but also the movement of materials. This is where you're creating this shared space where different disciplines actually start rubbing shoulders with each other. You know, this is where the students chill out and they hang out together and they talk. And what's quite exciting is actually what will now come out of that. One hopes that um, the new building can actually help facilitate new, new, new territory, really. New creative territory. We now have a building which makes a visual statement, but it's also a building that looks ambitious, which requires us to meet that ambition for the future. And um, I can't wait to see what the college is going to do with it. <laughs> <laughs>